Possibly. I mean, if you're looking at, they're using um, certain subscriptions like the Wall Street Journal, for example, which is close to $40 a month. So if people can get a cheaper subscription through Apple and lower their cost of different subscriptions they may have, is that, that may how make a lot it, of sense. Is that how it will work? If you join up, join Apple News, uh, for example, and pay this $9.99, would your services, uh, your other services that you subscribe to, would those rates come down because they're negotiated? From what it sounds like, that's what my understanding. It is brand new. They're announcing this right now, so I think mm. we'll see how the details come out. But I think really what we're seeing with Apple is they are completely shifting their service model. They last quarter said they're going to stop reporting on iPhone sales, which has been the big driver of their business. What they're trying to tell investors is that was the past. We're not focused on it. We are shifting because services is the future, and that's what they want us to focus on, and that's what today is all about, is looking at the different services they can offer. Every single one may not be a home run, mm. Maybe it's going to be media, maybe it's going to be TV, but the fact that they're making the shift is a game changer for Apple. You know, Shauna and I were talking about the fact that the New York Times said we don't necessarily want to be part of News Plus, and Netflix said we don't want to be part of uh, streaming TV. Is that a little bit of a black eye for Apple uh, as people are saying, look, we don't necessarily want to partner with you? I don't think Apple is used to really hearing the word no. Yeah, um, which can be one of their issues going forward. I think they're going to have some short-term things they need to figure out here. Um, the TV one is going to be a pretty interesting. Um, this is actually the first time in history that we have more Americans subscribing to streaming services than they are cable. So that is happening, but it's a fragmented industry. You already have Netflix and Hulu. Disney is launching Disney+, Plus, mm. um, Amazon Prime. They're all ahead of the game. They have a much larger library right now. So, yes, I think it's good Apple's making this move, but they're going to have um, some hurdles to beat to make sure that they do become a viable part of the industry. And it brings me to my next question. As I'm looking at the board there and seeing that Netflix is tra trading higher today, Apple is actually trading lower by 1.6%. Mm -hmm. um, is Apple late to the party? I think they are. Um, it's not to say that they can't get there, um, but they're definitely late to the party. So I think that's why short term they're going to have some hurdles to beat. But I think long term, the subscription services are going to be more of a consistent growth model for them. So I do think long term it's going to be a good thing. That being said, Apple does tend to trade um, lower or kind of non-exciting the day that big announcements are made. It tends to be the next day that you really see that pop. So it'll be really interesting to see how Apple trades tomorrow. Well, as you said, the details are coming out now. So it's going to take the analysts a while to process it and really exactly. figure out what these different aspects of the business um, will mean to Apple. But Tim Cook was, was standing up there um, presenting. A, a, we saw that clip just moments ago. Um, do you think that he has what it takes to really innovate and really take this services business to the next level? I think they're making the right steps right now to do that. Um, I think it's really going to, we're going to have to see over the next couple of months, are subscribers, um, are they buying into this? Is this something they want? Are they giving the consumer what they want? It's going to take a couple months for us to really see that. But the fact that they are reaching into that space and really trying to innovate, I think, is the first step. And so I'm glad to see that. And do you think the analysts have confidence uh, in the stock? Obviously, it had that bumpy mm -hmm. ride in December, um, January period when uh, Apple pre-announced and talked about the fact that they were going to see a slowdown. Again, that was of the iPhone sales in China. Right. So I wonder on the service side, um, does the China woes, do they translate in any way? Quite possibly, because they, they're really looking at a global economy right now. So if they don't have subscribers in China, which is the second largest economy in the world, not using those products, they may not be using the services also. So yes, that is going to be a hurdle that they need to overcome. Okay, great to see you, Courtney. Thanks, Thanks so much for joining me. us in our new studio.